it's here. Mary. And I just started the recording too. Okay. Thank you, Grace. And there's Tammy and there's a sky with somebody in the sky and you and Sue and me. I, I have a sky all and Sam stunt. I'm the sky. Oh, hi, sky. Hi, guys. You all are in very comfy white chairs on my screen. I don't know what I did. <laughs> Denise and Grace are in the back and Barbara and Sue are side by side and Phyllis and Tammy and then me at the I front. Think, I think that's called together mode. It looks like you're in a, yeah. a theater or something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, that's where sort of cool. my initials are, can you see a picture of me? Because I loaded a picture, but it doesn't show up. I on see my your end. initials, just your yeah. initials, EC. Yeah, I, I don't know picture. what I don't know what happened to that. I loaded a picture. I can see it like I when I go it, into um, other things. But supposedly by the end of the year, I'm going to get a, a, a tablet that actually has a functional camera. Wow. So we'll see. So somebody can see Liz's picture. Somebody was saying that they could see your picture. I can Grace, see the picture. Grace yeah. can see your picture, but I can't. Yeah, Wait. that's weird. And at the History Commission, the little circles told everybody that was here. And right now, all I have is a G and an EC. Barbara, I'm here, but uh, it's not working to get on the um, I'm screen on my end. Okay. So, oh, Carol. so I'm on the Sorry, phone again. Carol. Okay. Sorry, Carol. Hey. There's Cheryl. Yep. Sorry. For... <laughs> it's actually kind of... The, I have to say one thing about WebEx, it was easy to find that weird messenger. Uh... Up. Um, I was also just discovering that I've been writing over my templates <laughs> because it, the, the, it has this, the auto um, update is on. Oh dear. And, so just, you know, I thought I was writing over an old file and saving it with a new name, but apparently I'm just like making two copies of, I'm not sure which file, <laughs> the newer file. Like, oh God. Who's the balloons? Who are, who's the balloons? I think that's Sam. I think hmm? that's me. I did balloons instead of blue sky. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so he's celebrating. Oh my goodness. I go back to sky. I, I don't know. There's so many choices. I'm just lucky to be here. I don't try anything fancy. I would hey, hey, may, maybe somebody could help me. It says here that I, I don't want my audio video. And it says to click always allow. Well, I click always allow and nothing happens. Okay. Hey, Carol, why don't um, you and I set up a time to do well, we'll set aside like 15 minutes and I'll try to help you. I'll, okay. I'll, send, I'll can... send you it. I'll send you an email. All right, I'm sorry. My oh. my son. Uh... <gasps> Carol, we can see well, you. I, you can. Well, I can't see you your camera, but I can see you as a participant in the meeting now. Yes, and okay. you have a circle. You have a little circle. You have a circle. Huh? A I have a circle. Well, okay. Let's, <laughs> it's telling me that, uh, all right, let me click on the circle here. Let's see what happens. Nothing. On, on my computer, she has two circles. <laughs> oh. That's a, because I'm on the phone. Oh. Hey, don't worry about it. All righty. I had, no I had here. It. Okay, so Denise, you're saying I you'll help me here? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'll send you I'll send you an email and and um, we can work on it. You know, outside of this the meeting. This is simple. I mean, here I am. All I need is sound. <laughs> okay, I'm here anyway. Goodbye. Thanks. <laughs> okay, ladies, do we want to get started? Yes. Okay. Denise, do we go through the same instructions? 
even though we. Yes, I'm afraid so. Okay. Sorry. Just wanted to make sure. Okay. This is the African American History Inventory uh, Committee meeting. Today is Tuesday, November 9th, 2021. To conduct this meeting wholly electronically, the AAHI committee needs to make certain findings for the record to evidence our compliance with all applicable laws. These motions address this compliance. First, I'm going to conduct a roll call and ask each committee member participating in this meeting to state your name and your location. I ask that each of you pay close attention to ensure that you can hear each of your colleagues. Barbara Nave. Barbara Nave in Reston. Tammy Mar Marino. Tammy Manorino, Mount Vernon District. Ann Stunts. Ann Stunts, um, uh, Hunter Mill District. Esther McCullough. Carol Herrick. Oh, uh, Carol was here. Carol, I know you're there somewhere. I wonder if she dropped <laughs> off the line. Maybe she, maybe she thought she, if she hung up, she'd be with us, but that didn't work. Oh dear. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm, I'm emailing her back. now. Yep. Okay. okay. Barbara Peters. Cheryl Rapetti. Cheryl Rapetti, Sully District. Sue Kovac Schumann. Kovac Schumann, Providence District. Lynn Gobby Hodge. Liz Kroll. Liz Kroll, Alexandria. Chris Babashan. Sue Meddy. Denise is here in Fairfax. Okay. And Mary Lipsy in Braddock District. Did we, did we get Carol back? Carol Harry Grainsville. Sorry. Yeah, thank you. Okay, at this point, I will pass the gavel, virtual gavel to our co-chair, uh, Commissioner Lipsy, so that I may make the appropriate motions. I move that the AAHI certify for the record that each member's voice may be adequately heard by each other member of this board. I second the motion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any abstentions? Okay, the motion carries. Okay. Second, I move that the AAHI committee certify that the state of emergency caused by the COVID-19 pandemic makes it unsafe for this and the public to physically attend this meeting in person. And the usual procedures cannot be implemented safely or practically. As a result, I further move that the committee conduct this meeting electronically through a, a dedicated video and audio conferencing line and that the public may access this meeting by calling 571-429-5982, ID number 325-646-244-POUND. I second, second the motion. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any nays? Any abstentions? It uh, passes unanimously. Okay. Finally, I move that the AHI committee certify that the matters on this agenda today 
relate to the COVID-19 emergency itself are necessary for continuity in Fairfax County government and or are statutorily required or necessary to continue operations and the discharge of the committee's lawful purposes, duties, and responsibilities. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any nays? Aye. Any abstentions? It's passed unanimously. And I hand the gavel back to you. All right. First, Mary and I want to thank each of you that you. sent in your uh, templates. And we're going to be working through those in the, in the coming days. Um, in our last communication that we sent out, they were uh, updates. And we talked about uh, not having the storage for the templates yet. Good way. Okay, thank you. Hi, I'm glad to see somebody's familiar face. Okay. Um, and we attached the general instructions as a refresher and nothing had changed on that. And then we had the new request that most of you have already sent in, which was uh, doing one sheet that listed all of your templates. So, so Mary, I think we've collected most of them uh, to date. I know that uh, I saw Tammy's email and um, I think I, I saw Anne's come in. Okay. I do not have Carol's templates. Carol, have you sent me your templates? Mary? Yes. Yeah, I did. Okay, I'll just have to go back in the zillion of emails I have. Okay. Well, I'll resend them in a few minutes then. Yes, I no, did. No, don't do it until I let you know. Okay. No, I sent the templates too. I sent it Thursday. Well, okay, one went through and not the other. All right, I'll resend right now. Okay. All right. Do we have all the districts represented now, Phyllis? I believe we do because you've added in um, something from Springfield. Springfield, and Mason, and Braddock. Mason, right. Okay. I don't have anything. Is Cheryl, are you doing right. Sully? I, yes, I'm doing Sully, and I have not sent you anything. Okay. Do you want them all together? Do you want me to wait and assemble everything, or do you want them as, to come in piece by piece? I prefer you them can, all together because I'm making a separate folder for each district. Like I got Sue's all in Providence now, and it just makes it easier to check okay. the list to make sure I have them all. All right. Yeah, I, I just discovered that I you know, wrote over half of the ones that I had done, uh, but I will I will attend to that and get it to you um, as yeah. soon as I can. And then and then for hundred million, you have part one, which is mine, and part two, which is Anne, which is all of the ones, the majority, obviously, that are in Vienna and, right. and on Vienna. Right. Okay. Right. We got those. I forgot yeah. to put my email on my my little cover sheet, and I'm sorry. So. Well, if we can, we'll just put the district um, on my folder. So I'm just putting the district yeah, so that I know wh whose it is. Okay. So. Okay. And you wanted them signed? Um, no. How did you want that? That's the cover sheet. Our Hello. Cover. Is this closer mm -hmm. to you? It's like is a table of contents and put your name and email address. Yeah. Yeah. If the young men say, we don't have we this, we can't them? open this, they know who to contact. Mary. Could could you excuse me for just a minute? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. So there is a, a caller on the line. Um, your number begins with, let's see, that, um, so sorry. You've muted yourself now, but uh, 5081799, could you state your name, please, for the record? 703-508-1799. Hmm. 
Okay, so they had been unmuted and they've muted themselves now. I don't I don't recognize the number. Not that I have everybody's telephone number. Oh, um, mm. they're leaving. Mm. Okay. <laughs> um, so, uh, so, sorry, to, excuse me for, for interrupting. Oh, no, that's okay. Well, that's Cheryl, we just want the, the young men to have a name and an email associated with the list. You make a <laughs> list like a table of contents. Okay. Of your templates. And on that page, put your name and email address. Okay. So if they have a question or something wouldn't open correctly, then they could uh, connect with you directly rather than Phyllis or, All right. or me. That makes so. sense. Thank you. I didn't, for I didn't remember that. to do that. I didn't remember to do that. So I will fix that. This is okay. Uh, this is Carol again. Uh, Mary and Phyllis, you should have gotten it. The list is two pages followed by the templates. So maybe you didn't go past the list. So I will not resend it until you tell me to do so, Mary, because okay. uh, if you go down to page three, it starts the templates. Okay. And that, may, that may have happened. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to switch over to my emails right now, Carol, but I'll check it right after the meeting. It's not a crisis. I'm just, you know, so whenever okay. you, yeah. Okay. I, I, take I just, it we don't know the total at this point. We had an estimate, but do we have a total yet? No. no okay, no. that's fine. No, they've been coming in pretty fast since Saturday. Good. Does anybody have, we have any idea about when we'll hear from the attorney? Yeah, that's actually why I'm here. And I didn't receive an agenda, so I wasn't sure when, when I had the opportunity oh. to speak. So I'm glad you asked me okay. about it. Um, so give me one second, because I actually have some a little a few notes that I have to make sure that I'm correctly giving you this information. So I did hear from the county attorney's office, and they see no problem with the History Commission partnering with GMU students to create a database which will then be hosted on GMU's uh, website for the Center for History and New Media. I'm sure there's a longer title for that, but that was my shorthand way of yeah. saying, I think you're all good. Oh, good. Um, the only caution that he had while looking through the Braddock website, Mary, that you sent us the example, right. is that that has a lot of um, photos on it. And, uh, and of course you wanna be um, very careful about copyright. Yeah, right. We're not going to put on any photos. Yep, just just you know any any kind of media, poems, videos, even even if you take pictures. Let's say you go out and take a picture of a marker. Make sure that you, the person who took the picture is attributed. Okay. Um, to, so, but that was the only caution that he had. Just make sure that you're you know okay. giving credit where credit okay. is due. That's great, Denise. Thank yeah. You. I know. I, Great I was... news, especially <laughs> since we're meeting with them on Monday. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to make sure that as we go forward, we, yeah. we weren't going to come up with, with something later on. Yeah, as, no, better... as we continue to work. Uh, I'm, I, I agree. I agree. But yeah, they, they seem to you know to be totally okay with it. So good. Fantastic. Good. And. I'm going to leave at three o'clock, if you don't mind, if you would excuse me at three, because um, I have a two back-to-back -back night meetings this week. So I'm going to get out of here a little bit early. Okay. Thank you, Denise, well, for all you do. You're yes. still two people, right? You're still being two people. Yeah, and, and we actually are losing another person. Oh, Lordy. Kira no. is, is leaving us. I know, I know. So... And you're, the, the, the liaison for the HC hasn't been advertised is that correct um it's being advertised next week i believe okay but then we're going to be bumping up against the holidays so yes yeah well we we send you energy candy you. <laughs> <laughs> coffee <laughs> yeah. i saw an email from you this morning that was like i think it was before four or right around four a.m four a.m yeah so there you oh, go I I have to remember to hold those emails and not send them until 
not, say it's the change, the time change, but that's still pretty early. So thank that, you. That's not saying we read it at 4 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thank you again for all you're doing. Oh, you're me. welcome. Thank you all too for all you're doing. And I'm going to hang out and listen for a few more minutes, but then I'm going to drop off. Okay. But okay. all right. And if you have any questions, get, please get in touch. Always willing to help. It, we, we didn't really have an agenda for today. Just, okay. Yeah. Thought we'd check in with each other. Thank you. Good, good. Okay. Okay. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> bye. Tammy, I sent you one email about um, the templates that you sent that you put all your churches in a row rather than putting each on a separate template. Is that a possibility right. for you? Well, actually, I Mary, said I thought that way. So I had. Um, I had a group of churches, I had uh, oral histories, and I had uh, written publications. And so it's a total of 20 templates, but I put them in three documents because I mistakenly thought you wouldn't want 20 separate documents. Right. Um, I, I thought that, that it was okay to do it the way that, that you did it. Okay, I'm, that's I'm all right. I just know that, that we originally had said that each individual thing would be a template. Um, but you can combine but, but, stuff. Yeah. Right. So I put I right. put line breaks in between the individual okay. templates. Um, so you know, going forward, like I still have some more to do, probably twenty more to do, but I can I can make those separate files. Um, and it's just you know, part of it was the uh, I know sort of how these things go, <laughs> and typically for a database, you're going to break things down to their. Um, to their smallest piece. And so even in my mind, even if we send them a um, a multiple entry, like for instance, uh, Woodlawn Church, you've got a cemetery mm -hmm. and a marker that goes along with that. If I'm a database programmer, I'm creating three templates, you know? So, you know, so I was trying to do it in a way that would be easiest for the person programming, but I totally understand, like I'm, I'm willing to redo them so that they're separate documents if it makes it easier to track. I, I just, um, I am not a computer person, so I just, you know, <laughs> I just did it. But I I have a couple of them that I have the church, the cemetery, and everything in the community. Mm -hmm. Or I have something with the Fitchu yeah. family. I have the Fitchu houses with the Fitchu yeah. family. So we did tell them last time we were talking with them that they would have to do some judgment calls on how to take how we wrote it up and get it into the database. Sure. So it makes sense because right. um, I'm sure they'll be better at it than we are. You know, so. They know their, their method. Yeah. <laughs> I have a question listening to Tammy because for uh, the meeting house, um, I just, I listed the meeting house, the grounds and the burial grounds or whatever you want to call them. I did not, I did not list this, the VDHR marker separately because to me, it's just describing what the site right. is. So it's mm -hmm. just, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. and I then, think that's right. I don't know if what other ones are in a district. I did make note it was in the Flores Dist Historic, National Historic District, and that there's two others there. Um, the Lee Edward, I mean, the Edward Leaf House and, um, uh, the Leaf family farm site. And I just I just noted them because there's nothing to say about them other than they're there. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you should have done separately. Anyway, I did not. I think there are, there are some Leaf family photographs in the uh, Fairfax County uh, photography collection. Oh yeah, but, we're, but we weren't, I didn't know that, so. Okay. Yeah. We, yeah. yeah. Mary this and I were out there last perfecting week. as we go along. Right. <laughs> yeah. We, we went out there last week, last Wednesday, and, um, you know, came up with ideas of how to cut into the brambles to get into the to the Lee family site. I mean, that's parkland, so. Mm. Okay, well, I just was, you know, I'm, I'm sure I didn't do 100%, but. Well, and that's what we told the young man. You've got nine people with nine personalities, or are there 10 of us? I don't know. Anyway, uh, with personalities, and we interpret it differently, just like historians do. So they're they're going to have to take it together. That'll be their their challenge. And that's why another reason we wanted to have your, your email address on there. So if they had questions, they could get back to you. 
Yeah. Yeah. They would call you directly. Yeah. 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 So. Okay. Is there anything else for discussion? Um, I would make note that on um, at the history conference, um, Lynn, in her enthusiasm, noted she used my little script I'd given her, but she she noted that that the inventory is on our website and it's not there yet. And she did that twice. So just an FYI, if there's any questions. Mm -hmm. It's, it was in anticipation, but she presented it as though it was already there, so. My only thought is how we're going to do the editing of this, and I know Phyllis and Carol and I are gonna to have to wrestle with that. Do you all have any input as to how you suggest, um, you know, we do this? Oh, to try to make them uniform amongst, you know, across the board or? Well, but I don't think they're going to be uniform. So I don't think no. we're going to worry about that. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I mean, are we going to, we, I keep on thinking about the Confederate names and all. Are we going to think back at, if it doesn't say Robert E. Lee, are we, which it wouldn't have in this group, but it, I just use an example. If it doesn't say Robert E. Lee, are we adding Robert E.? You know, that's the kind of thing. Um, if, it, if it doesn't say uh, Woodlawn Baptist Church, but just says Woodlawn Church, do you want us to add Baptist Church there? Is that the title? Like, it, again, going back to the meeting house, the official is the Frying Pan Baptist Meeting House. So right. that's part of its official title. Right. Lord, I, I put that in there. I'm not sure I did. But, yeah, I'd say go for the official if we know or... Right, in Robert E. or something. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, well, we can definitely use those that are on the inventory sites. What the official name is there, because sure. Little Zion right. Baptist Church is on the inventory sites, but it no longer that that church has got no longer exists. There's the Greater Little Zion Baptist Church today, but the, the actual church building is leased by. Um, a Korean um, mm -hmm. congregation. So, uh, so I don't know how technical we want to get, or you know, just just let us do what we think is best, or what. I would, because in that instance, what we're so. talking about is that it was that it was part of an African American community right. before it became the Korean. So, to me, that would be what's yeah. What's well, that's the way I wrote it, but. And then parenthetical, maybe, you know, whatever the alternative name is. Um, That's, I'll have to go by the building and find out because yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't, it doesn't appear in any, um, you know, we have that at Woodlawn them. also, they lease to St. John's. So, uh, yeah, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure I have to go back and look and see what I put down. <laughs> well, and, and today, isn't it the Peace Church or something like that? It has a completely different. Uh, so Woodlawn Faith, there's actually three different sites for Woodlawn Church. There's the site on what was, what is now Fort Belvoir. There's right. the site on Fordson Road. And then there's another site that's near Huntley um, that's on Harrison Lane. And so that one's called Woodlawn Faith. Um, but the one on Fordson is now leased by St. John's. But the Woodlawn Faith Church still uses it, you know, once a month to distribute, um, you know, goods to the community and so it's complicated. And, Tammy, was, wasn't it originally Woodlawn Methodist Church? Yes. Yeah. So it was originally Woodlawn Methodist on, on Fort Belvoir. That was the, the first and section, second instances of the church were there. Okay. okay. Well, I guess I'm confused because what is the church that now Route 1 goes around it? Oh, Pillar? Yeah, yeah Pillar Church. Wasn't that Woodlawn? Uh, that was uh, Woodlawn no. Baptist, I right? Think. Okay, so and I'm getting all confused. That one was not African American. That one was started okay. by the Mason fam, the Mason right. family, but not George Mason family. Rachel Mason and okay. I forget her husband's name. They were at Woodlawn. Okay. Well, and again, I, my question is, you know, we're providing um, an inventory of what was, what is. So the primary would be the African American connection, right? right? And then right. it's like, you know, if you happen to go on a visit, then this is what you're going to find. I don't know how you write that up in a database. 
Well, I'm going to write a, a little bit of an intro, which I'm going to send out to Phyllis, hopefully, shortly. I did a little bit with the general resources, but I want to include that there's, you know, photos out there. If they want to go look, they can Google, they can, you know, use the county um, photos, et cetera. So if they want to see pictures of these churches or, or whatever. Um, and Chris Barbashock, though he told Phyllis and me that he was going to spend weeks, it would be weeks in the future, who got to us, what, yesterday or the day before, a resource list of African-American sources in the Fairfax County Public Libraries, Good. including the list of, uh, in the, and I didn't realize this, in the um, biography and family vertical files, there must be 20 African-Americans listed there that they have a file folder on. So wow. it's not transcript. Oh, yeah. Yes, it's not transcript. Um, so I've added that information to the general resources. And Barbara, I also added about uh, the cultural uh, sites, and the, excuse me, historical sites. Yeah, let me, I was gonna explain that. I, I um, uh, suggested to Mary and Phyllis that, that where to put them and she put them under places to visit and say and to contact to contact the park authority historic sites and uh because they have like walney you know had the one program whether they do it or not they if and the discussions we had with walney concerning the burial ground there is that that the sites can then for, let them know what they have sully is obvious um there's huntley um I don't know what we do with places like Ash Grove, which has a, a slave quarter there. That's the kitchen. Um, so, so this way they can contact the Park Authority staff directly and and see what what resources they have at the site. And that's something that we agreed to when the, the some of the um, some of the site staffs that were, were newer weren't quite sure what we were doing. So that that's a way of including them. Certainly at frying pan because they're working really hard on um, uh, identifying and, and putting markers up and including the story of the Lee family um, in their interpretation. So mm -hmm. anyway, that was behind what Mary did, and I think I think it's great. I don't know what y'all think, but well, now I I'll have to go back and look at my list because I copied from online what they considered the historic sites. They have Freedom Hill as right. one, right? Um, I'll have to check and see uh, that I got all the ones you just mentioned because I went to the historic sites with the park authority, what was listed. Right. They even had Oak Hill there. And I'm not sure why, I mean, Oak Hill had slaves, but I guess it's because it's a park authority at easement with Oak Hill. Well, the unstaffed sites is, are a challenge. And, right. um, you know, I don't know what you do with that, but. See, I would have thought they'd have Riverbend because now it's been recognized as the Underground Railroad right. connection. Well, so depends, I don't know. If, we'll decide. It depends how old the list is. And right. I certainly would put it whether they, if I, I would imagine, um, again, in, when Mary and I were talking to the frying pan staff, they said this is their, their efforts to, you know, deal with, um, what what is a, a park authority policy? Cheryl can speak to that, but the, to make to, to bring forth that story, and of course Sully has, but they're increasing their efforts, and so I would think Riverbend would, and Colvin Run is offering a program um, on what what it would have been like. They don't have any specific, but that's they're have, offering a program this fall in that. So anyway, we just need to have people be aware that they can go to the sites and inquire and this it's up to the staff then to share what they want that was the idea how you put that in a database i don't know okay well we also asked the young man to put a district map with their database so if people don't know what district they live in they could look at a map hopefully good um, idea i'm wondering about the 275th um marker map it was on Visit Fairfax at one time, and I don't know if it's still online anywhere, but that might help them if they want to know where these markers are located. Uh, not just African-American, it would have mall, you know, right. but 
I could check to see if that's that's available online. Um, so we get to, do we um, do as they're as they're developing the database? Do we do we see it in progress and have comments on it, or how does that work? We're not sure. <laughs> okay. We they definitely can see it before it they goes live. That they would meet uh, and would share with the commission yeah. um, what what they're actually doing. Yeah. In other words, if they're going down a road that we say no, that's the wrong way, we tell them before they yeah. get all the way to the yeah. to the end. Okay. Right. Well, we're meeting with them every every two weeks. Okay. I I just called up and did look at the. Um, Fairfax, fxva.com slash 275. Yeah, all of those maps are right there and easy to access. The ones you were okay. talking about, Mary. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. That's good to know. Okay. Um, I was going to say something else and it just went out the window. Uh, oh, are we going to pursue taking all these templates and asking them on putting them in one PDF and have them put on the history commission website. Just I, I, don't, I don't know if that would be um, um, easy to use. I know I'm just thinking about the teachers who want this tomorrow, you know, ah. um, and I mean, I don't want to bore you with my <laughs> dealing with the <laughs> teachers, but um, I, I think if they're, you know, if they have any knowledge of the county, if they could do a find, you know, um, uh, or something like that. Uh, Mary, we can get it onto the website, but it, not like a single right, PDF right. for no. all of the templates. I think that was what Tammy was responding to. Yeah. No, but I thought it would be like Confederate names. That's what Denise was describing for us. Oh, like a book. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think that that would be difficult to use. Um, so, so Mary, are they saying that they can't use your general resources list? Oh, no, they won't. <laughs> you can't, well, the well, word, well, well, uh, what the message is, you can't expect a teacher or a student to go through 44 pages and find any information is what they've told me. Right, so yeah. that's why it doesn't make sense to have them look through a, you know, yeah. so, a, a even longer yeah. document. So what's um, their, what's their, um, have they given you an idea as an alternative to that? Like, you know, they, we know that that's not it, but is it like, would they approach it by they only want their district or um, they only want websites or like, have they told you what their key is to dive in? Two things. They want a video for every topic if possible and well three things there are this six is not happening i they know. need to understand Ten years down the road. there are six uh statements that they want um project-based learning lessons for i said i could give them in information for three um and they'd like me to write the lessons i'm not going to no, do it no 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 i'm not going to do no. it I, but the other thing is, I said, can I refer them to the transcript of the interview of William A. West, 100-year-old man who taught in African-American schools, et cetera, et cetera. No, you have to pull out the paragraphs for yes. us. No, no, no. It's a research project. No. I mean, yeah. that's yes. I said, I'm not yes. going to do it. So I don't know how they're going to do their project-based learning. Are these like frankly history, scarlet? The, these sorry, are history the teachers in our them. public schools saying they're not able to do something like this. I'm really concerned about that. It's I, not that they're not able. I, I've talked to Mary so much about this and said you are doing their work. Yes. Add the salaries of the curriculum specialists. That's and the right. Kids. And you should And they're going to Mary and said, what you've done isn't right. That's not what we want. And I keep saying our inventory they may use it but our inventory is not for the teachers Correct. it's for it's, it's for the right. original purposes and I, I get really patient about this because <laughs> i'm trying to learn teach mary to say no yes. <laughs> mary mary you well, do need to learn to say no even to a yes. supervisor yeah. 
Well, you know, because some of the some of the um, high school history teachers that are teaching the elective African American course, they are using Mary's list, and and their kids are going and researching from from what Mary's list is. So yeah, ideally, this should be for middle school and high school, right. not from for elementary school. Right. But yeah. you know, because yeah. I could guide my seventh graders through this and say, hey, you know, this looks like a, because I, with all the people that I could do that I have the oral history transcripts from, I did a little description of them. So they know, you know, what this person was involved with. And so any child would say, oh, that's in my neighborhood. Maybe I, you know, I'd like to learn about that person. You know, but anyway. Um, yes. So yeah, it's, I do not, there's not one teacher on the committee and the curriculum specialists, I, I don't know if they have taught. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just, you know, I don't know. Um, and I'm yeah, sure I mean, teachers are too busy to be on this committee. I mean, they, they just. Uh, teachers are just trying to keep up with what's going yeah, exactly. on. Sure. Yeah. And, yeah. and the they're doing budget. virtual learning and, yeah. and in-class yeah. yeah. learning. Is, is it too late, Mary? It's Can difficult. You suggest that maybe it should just start at seventh grade? Because if it's that much and you're not getting the cooperation, what makes what makes sense? Because uh, Supervisor Palchak has made it very clear that she'd like all grade levels. Well, I, I think she needs to be told it's not working. But I, I mean, I don't care. You talk to her and tell her she was a teacher, and I do, do think she might understand that. Well. I mean. I think that it's supposed to be an extracurricular activity. I mean, that you know, it's connected to the schools and connected to this project-based learning. So project-based learning is hands-on, do it, do, do through learning, learn through doing rather. Right. Um, so they, you know, they can collectively as a class, you know, or individually with their parents, you know, go out and, and do the research. and. You know, I think that the material that we are providing with them with, you know, some of it is fairly accessible, even for, you know, a, a fourth grade, you know, fourth grade, you're 10 years old, you're pretty sophisticated. Um, and, and, you know, they should be able to, they're not, they don't have to write a history. No. All they have to do is say, hey, the life of this person is really cool. And we, we've learned a lot about them. We've learned, you know, we learned a little, let's say they took a person in Vienna and they, they look up the person, they look up the churches, they look up some of the history of Vienna that we have, you know, available to them, the resources that they have. And then they just sort of put that together into a nomination. You know, the, the teachers are asking you, for a lesson plan that, that they can teach. Mm -hmm. And that's not right. what we've been no. yeah. That's not our task. Yeah. Um, Especially yeah, so this early just, in the process. Yeah, I mean, I think they're trying to, they know that they have this additional uh, uh, task of teaching African-American history. And I think they're just trying to, you know, kill two birds with one stone, you know, and, and get us to help them do that. And that's, you know, like Barbara said, you know, that's not our job. Well, I also brought up who's going to be researching and writing these markers. And REA said that, well, they were hoping that the, uh, what do they call them? Um, judging committee, no, voting committee. Voting committee. They're hoping that the voting committee would write the markers. And I, my comment was, if you really are serious about that, then as anybody who's asked to be on that committee should know from day one that the intention is that they will help write the markers. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. You know, yeah. So. We have I, to keep reminding people based on something I've heard from several people on, on the commission. We have to keep reminding people all the way up to the top that we're volunteer. We have no mm -hmm. staff to help us. And we Thank have you, Barbara. Great Thank projects you. That mm -hmm. keep coming at us. And in a way, it's a nice compliment because of the CNI. It's like, oh, look at all these experts. And, you know, I, I happened to see Supervisor Alcorn at the, the dedication of the Freedom Hill Science. And he says, now, Barbara, I hope you just, you all didn't mind, but, you know, we wanted to get this done. And we just, I just thought the History Commission could do it, talking about the Confederate names. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and that, that, uh, we did it, but Lordy. And so 
<laughs> won one battle, so they think that we can manage the entire war. And oh, we can. Yeah. We, we have we to. Did it. Yeah. We did it with two staff members who were able to shut down everything else exactly. they were doing and exactly. do research exactly. and writing and editing and collating. Yeah. And, you know, plus they had an intern. Well, I, I counted seven. If you count all the staff involved, we had seven. Was there even more? Wow. Okay. If you count, you know, you count all of the, all of the, um, is you counted all of them because Jordan was complaining to me about, we can't, I said, Jordan, we have seven staff supporting us. And then he got quiet. So mm -hmm. now we have we have a half of Denise. We don't even have a half of Denise, right? Because she has jobs other than ARB and us. So right. here we are. Yeah. Anyway, I just it's just so crazy, and they don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that it helps you, Mary, but we're giving. Oh you no, that. that's fine. Yeah, <laughs> and I, you know, I, I forget which meeting I was on. They said, "Well, we really didn't realize this would take a lot of research." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd like to say something. By the way, my street is being paved, which is what this racket and this noise is. Um, um, a month or so ago, the supervisor's office asked me to provide a history of Providence District. I said, you don't have anything. The former supervisor um, had the oral histories and such, but there was nothing or is nothing in the files after they looked. So that's like another side project, but it was really done for another person who was appointed to another commission. And, I'm, you know, it took, as Barbara mm -hmm. said, a lot of time to put something like that together. Yeah. Yeah. So just just to I mean, Barbara knows about this because I mentioned it to her yesterday, but I don't think the rest of you know. I got a phone. I got an email asking me to call Heather in um, Jeff McKay's office. And um, and and she was asking about us helping on a project, and and uh, you know said because you have the infrastructure to do this, right? <laughs> like, no, no. I said I said I have we have twenty volunteers and the liaison. <laughs> so we don't have because she said you have staff. I'm like, oh, no. Maybe we need to lock staff. I said, then, yeah. I said maybe we yes. we wanted to have a staff for years, and way back before y'all were on the on the commission, you know, money was saved enough to actually hire a sta a limited term for a whole year for archaeology, and so I thought, well, maybe if if somehow Jeff McKay hears that, that maybe somehow they can find a a staff member, you know, I know it's pie in the sky, but. Well, I mean, we, we, we're, we're definitely going to ask. Um, yeah, yeah, so I think it's um, worthwhile to ask for sure. I yeah. mean, especially, you know, on the heels of all of these big things that we've been asked to do, um, you right. know, they're seeing our value, which is great. And um, and we do we know how to we know we have an idea of how to approach these, but we need manpower. Exactly. Um, like we know where to look and how to approach <laughs> it, but we need, you know, boots on the ground to actually accomplish it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, I don't know what we can do with it, but as long as everybody is aware. <laughs> so, I, I, missed, I missed one thing. Cheryl, what exactly were you being asked to do by the supervisor's office? Uh, it was about naming. It was it, more naming. It was another naming another project. Another naming type project. Okay. Yeah. Which meant research, right? Yes. 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 Uh, and and community outreach and things like that. Yes. So, Lord above. Well, I think what we have discovered, what we have, I mean, we all knew some of this, but but by putting this all together, what an incredibly rich, rich chunk of our history have are we are we collecting in one place? So mm -hmm. it's not it's the quality, but it's also the quantity. And what the, you know, the Fairfax yes. County schools could get a group of teachers next summer to take everything that we have produced and create, create curriculum. Absolutely. Yeah. From it, you know, for whatever age group they want to do. Um, I think they it'd take more than priority. one summer, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even a summer camp program or something, you know, mm -hmm. something that yeah. for a small it's, it's, group with yeah. what we have. 
It's yeah. going to take years to create this, which, you know, which should have been created long ago, but it's, um, you know, it's going to take years to yeah. really get a good, solid curriculum going and get it integrated yeah. into the curriculum right. for sure. You're right. And it's yeah. so needed, though. So yeah. needed. Oh, yeah. yes. I wish uh, we could I mean, snap our fingers and have it be there, you know? Um, yeah. I mean, if, you know, Sue and I have been reading public comments on on Confederate names. And More. <laughs> <laughs> I, kept, I quoted one. I kept one and I and uh, I don't know who, like which group. Maybe I quoted at the History Commission, you know, about Robert E. Lee. And, and you cannot allay someone who's given so many contributions to our society. Oh, Lord. So that yeah. is what some of them were like. Exactly. And it's gotten really nasty on the social media um, next door, Facebook, which people expect. Yeah. But, you know, you do it somewhat mm -hmm. anonymously. It's harder for somebody to stand up um, at a public meeting or to really write a letter, a real letter, the way some of I us wrote, like I could, do. I could um, I could not. It turns out it wasn't just me that could not get the connection um, on on the website or the email. So I wrote a letter, a real letter with my name at the top and mailed it with a stamp explaining <laughs> why, you know, yes, it needs to be that it does. So I'm hoping there's positives. Can I tell you? Yeah, all there, are. Hmm? there are. There definitely are. It, it's. Well, knowing the one person with the 91 page letter, I mean, I, I had to work with that individual when I was staff. And so, uh, you know, it's well, I'm, I, I'd never heard about that. You'll tell me later. A 91 page letter from someone. Oh, my goodness. Well, I, he, 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 there's lots of stories. So I want to explain yeah. something else I learned I, in going through all this. Um, you know, the, the original little library in Reston was called was named Carter Glass Library. And I never knew Carter Glass. I just. Right over my head. So then uh, through all of this, learned what an absolute so and so he was and his and his role in the 1902 Constitution and all this stuff. So it's been on my list, so I, I could not find it. So I wrote our dear friend Chris and said, I cannot find and the Reston Muse Trust Museum didn't know. And so it goes back to the 1953 when the idea was that the small communities throughout the county, let's name them for famous deceased Virginians. And so mm -hmm. it was good old Woodson, know about Woodson, who mm -hmm. proposed Carter Glass because they were buddies, I guess, in their perspective. And so that's how it came about. Well, so see, I would like to of see. all places in Reston that's yeah. going to be integrated and open from 1964, we ended up with a Carter Glass library. And no one, I mean, you know, those of us that study the progressive era, I just, I learned what happened, but I never paid any attention to the man that was involved. So anyway, mm -hmm. it's just so subtle. It's everywhere. This, this anti- I, I know, ran into- um, Everywhere. I ran into a man who was doing the history of Woodson and I, he was in the Virginia room one time and I kind of saw what he was looking at. Um, but, you know, he actually has a lot. He's an amateur, but he's been working on this. So when when and if we get to that school and, and what's done, I'm, I have his name and we will contact him. He's been on this for years. Yes, I think. Mm. Yeah, I just wanted to share you because it's Lordy wherever you turn, you know, there it is. So. Well, I would like to see William McKinley Carter uh, recognized. He um, helped get uh, Patrick Henry Library open for all people. Mm. Okay. And it's a really fascinating story. They have a portrait of him and his wife uh, inside the meeting room. Uh, and I had to go home and look him up because I thought William McKinley Carter, what a neat name, you know. Yeah. And um, what's interesting is that they started a friends group. Oh, shoot, I've forgotten the um, author's name. His son was uh, the president. But Ross Netherton, that some of you know, was, yes, the, treasurer, so Joyce, was the treasurer of the group. Joyce, you know? and Joyce Kilmer. That's it, Joyce Kilmer's son. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just a neat story. And they, they have, you know, his portrait inside, but he needs a sign outside the, the library to, to show what he did, you know. Yeah. Well, we don't want to take on anything else, Lord. Let's no, no, no. 
the giant right. kid who can find no, that story out this through a marker. Yeah. This is Herrick. This is Herrick. Did I hear that Ross Netherton was Joyce Kilmer's son? No, no, no. no. Joyce oh. Kilmer's son was the president of the Friends Group. Ross Netherton was the treasurer. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Six yeah. points of separation there. There yeah. you go. So, so you all think you co-chairs think we're going, we're we're good. Yeah, I I don't know. Yeah. Um, Willis, do we need to meet in two weeks? Or I mean, next month? Probably. I'm thinking two weeks with the GMU guys. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Let's let's see what what the next meeting with this with the students brings, because yeah. we may have to come back for another meeting after that. Mm -hmm. I can't remember. I'd have to go back and look at my notes to see if it seems to me like in December they wanted to do something in, in you know, getting a, a framework done. But I didn't know if that was in front of the History Commission or not. Right. They they have a commitment with the professor later this month. Right. Um, but since our, our commission meeting is December 1st, I think. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, it may it may not be December. It may be January. Yeah. Well, and and don't they? You know, I'm thinking about if they're doing this as as coursework. Um, you know, the holidays they're going to be departing probably like the 17th of December, and then right. they won't. Right. That's usually uh, a good three weeks. So it's like the second week of January, and that's when they start implementing. Is that right? Right. That's right. Yes. But actually creating, actually creating it. So did we, did we make a decision about the template on the History Commission website or not? No. I think, I think no, Mary, we didn't. Mary, how long is your general uh, resources? 44 pages together with the research topics. It's 44 pages. Could you divide it up by research topic? Could we put links to one document on one research topic, yes. another document? Oh, no, not on each research topic. Did you do it like I'm not sure what you're asking me, Cheryl. Well, it, I, I, you know, I, I was just thinking 44 pages might be um, a lot uh, for you know, given the, the audience that, that we um, are looking to serve. So I was, you know, you said that it was 44 pages, but divided up into six research topics. No, no, that's the history that's contest. The or that's the, that's no, the no, thing no. else. I do have, I, I don't know how many topics I have in each. Let me see. Really, like it was like 10. Like, I mean, um, yeah, there's different sections on, like oral history. Is that one of them? Uh, I'll start yeah. off with um, the research center and the county what court records you can find there and then i have um genealogy materials uh collections these are just general resources uh, you know what mary maybe just forward that to subi uh and have her and uh thomas we sit down and figure mm -hmm. out how to organize it on the website okay yeah you know, and that way we have some material on the website All right. uh, and I mean, then we can a, yeah that's a good yeah. idea a good collection that's of good. stuff and i think you know why not share it in in whatever way you can and people can use control f i mean i go through i go back to the confederate names report and right. you know and search things on there <laughs> um, yeah no I, so, I think if we were you know for a general audience um i i wouldn't hesitate to throw the long you know uh documents you know like the confederate names report on because you know people who are savvy know how to do control f and and things like that but um for you know since we are trying to serve you know the kids um for students you know having it be broken up into some set of categories whether it's by district or by research you know you know archives versus this kind you know by source material or whatever um it, you know, so that it's a little bit easier and a little bit more manageable so that they kind of have some idea about where to look. But, um, you know, you don't, we don't necessarily, you know, it might be best to have Thomas, who is our webmaster, kind of figure out how to 
take this material and, and present it on the website. Um, you know, I, like in the research topics, I have a whole section on communities. So I have like within that, I have what you can find online or in print on Gum Springs, on Willard, um, Morris, et cetera. And then it goes to the list of communities and enclaves at the very end. Right. Uh, so, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll send it to them and see uh, if they can figure out a way of uh, getting it online for us. Yeah, I mean, if you want to send it to me and I'll relay it, but or or you can do it directly either way. But you know, well, you don't, just, I don't well, want I think you to. You've had it, but you don't you don't have the up to date one. So right. Yeah. That. Okay. okay. Mary, do you have you you should have Annie Wu's um, video on. Yes. On corner uh, on the communities. Yes. The okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we can post that too. Yeah. If she included it. Yeah. Yeah. Mary, I can send the, the la latest updated one that you sent out, I think, yesterday or today. Well, I can send that yeah, to everybody. I it too, but do I want to go back and, and list the 275th map on there? <laughs> I asked. <laughs> it's never it's a living finished. document. This is a living document. We I know. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get it on and okay, I'll so send it to you, Phyllis, because that's just one thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then, okay. then you'll send it out. Yes. I keep trying to trash the previous ones because I had so many. And I can't. Oh, you're, you're <laughs> see my files. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. I've just stopped. So it'll, it'll come out this week in the next couple of days then. Okay. So yeah. Can you send it to me? I'll send it out. Okay. I don't print them anymore. I'll just put edited. And this is what I did. I printed it out <laughs> once or twice. And now I thought, I'm not going to keep on printing this out. Oh, no. no. So, anyway. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're going to okay, wait so and see about the next meeting, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank we'll you. With the, Everybody's with doing the students. incredible jobs, really. I just um, amazed. Yeah. And this is such a busy time of the year. There seem to be more projects that are coming in that we have to do. Yeah. There are. There yeah. are. Busy, busy. Yeah. And, and my apologies for running out earlier my cat got out of the house so i had to go chase oh, it down. No. <laughs> yeah, we're, i think i think we're just about ready to end any anyway yeah, this, so too. thank you well let me tell barbara uh something i sent her an email and she didn't know what i was talking about no i didn't bob <laughs> sign wife of of reston is accused of assaulting somebody else during a meeting in late October, and the person for Simon, she's a very well. I, well, I'm just genius. anyway. They're making a big deal about it, and we're going to hear a lot about it. Apparently, his wife grabbed somebody's phone. Who would anyway? I that was what it's about. But it's Bob Simon's wife, who is the founder of Reston. Petro so. Simon, and she is a well-known architect, mm -hmm. and a very and a very dignified lady. So where did you see this? Wow. Well, I read the news ahead of you, I guess. I must get it five minutes ahead. <laughs> which news? It wasn't in the post today. Well, anyway, that's that's the so that'll be kind of fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so someone grabbed, oh Lord. Okay. So she, she has grabbed someone else's phone at a meeting. I mean, we all wanted to do that at a meeting of somebody yes. else. <laughs> How bad is that? It's a bad, it's a crazy time. So yes, everybody be careful with what you say and who you are in a group with and all of that. Yes. Right. yes. You never know. You just right. never know, right? That's right. Okay. I, I, know we're I know we're leaving. I have one technical question. Um, you talked about putting the Audrick's Corner video on. Mm -hmm. channel, link to it, yeah. Channel 16 did not want to do it because she didn't give credit. Right. No. Can we put it on yes. without those credits? Yes, because we're just a referencing a YouTube link. I'm what, we're not what doing else? It. Okay. That okay. was because it was a government channel. That was the problem. And gotcha. so in this gotcha. is it's it's public, it's on YouTube, and so and, and we're just listing the link. Yeah. So true. Yep, the link is different from actually carrying the item itself on your 
page. At least that's what I understand. So yeah. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Over and out. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Okay, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Thank, thank you. you. We'll be in touch. Thank you. Bye. Right. Bye Have a great day. Bye. 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 Hey, Cheryl. Cheryl, would you yep. uh, give me a call? Sure. Do you have my cell uh, number? I should. Um, you check my phone. Context. This light still be recording. Yeah, I do. And there's still other people on the line. Just FYI. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, we're good. Uh, I I have it, Liz. So I'll give okay, you a call. Okay. Yeah. Give me finish. a call when you're, you know, sometime in the next little while when you're free. Okay. Sure. No problem. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye.